down the back stretch now once again kevin harvick with a good lead about 20 car lengths out in front of him. Uh, the 78 cars in it is a stretch of about the all four as they come down to the strike lap number five goes up on the board and a little farther back i'm watching a lot of progress for trevor bain he started in the 17th position he just drove by danny hamlin and ryan newman so put bain up to 11. yeah thanks mark i was trying to say trevor bain great move for bain working the inside everybody now to the bottom of the racetrack about five spots back though jamie mcmurray will go down to the low side behind trevor bain now is the 31 car that's ryan newman behind newman danny hamlin dale earnhardt jr falls in to the uh, behind, behind the 11 car we do have some racing back between that are pitting now they'll take on enough fuel should we get overtime that could pose a problem for the guys trying to stretch let's go to jim noble martin truex jr has been on the radio the last three laps saying that matt kenseth is taking away his line that he's blocking him he was told that kenseth said he would work with him truex not convinced right now they're working around the lap car of danica patrick she just went a lap down to Brad Keselowski. Kenseth gets around her. Now it's Mark Truex Jr.'s turn. He's about three car lengths back of uh, Matt Kenseth for second. Danica didn't make it particularly easy for Matt. He caught her going into turn three, and she tipped him to the bottom of the racetrack, but Truex unable to capitalize. No difference uh, between the two here, about five car lengths going into turn three and four. Talking about Matt Kenseth and Mark Truex Jr. Both cars working the bottom of the racetrack all four. Keselowski down the front stretch. He goes across the start-finish line. And right now, here's Matt Kenseth next in line. It's Martin Truex Jr. as we have only 13 laps to go. Keselowski's lead is visually diminishing, and I think that's because he's trying to save enough fuel to get to the end, but he's still got a significant lead. and hangs a hard left, heads onto the pit lane. We're going back green with just 75 laps to go in the New Hampshire 301. Here is the green flag waving. Truex gets a good jump on the inside. Kyle Busch gets a push from Kislowski. Truex and Kyle Busch have been the two strongest cars. Matt Kenseth has been working, waiting for the opportunity to pounce, and he'll get it early. And then on this restart, taking second away from Kyle Busch. Matt Kenseth with a game, great run off of turn two now, sets his sight on the leader, Martin Truex, to lead him into turn three now. Here comes Kenseth, gets right on the bumper of the 78. Can't make anything work. Harvick goes to work on third place, Kyle Busch. Truex leads him down the front stretch. Matt Kenseth right on his rear deck lid. Three car lengths back to Kyle Busch, then it's Kevin Harvick. Kevin Harvick just took the fourth position away from Brad Kozowski, right behind him. Kurt Busch, Denny Hamlin, and Chase Elliott goes to the 